Yo, what's up guys? We're back here with the uh, Nimish talk of this week. We have a pretty eh drop, honestly. About 18 pieces. Not really anything too too crazy. We're going to we got Gil in the call. We're going to do the usual Nimish talk. So, uh, say what's up, Gil. Hey, there you go. So, first off, we have the split Anorak. It's like a windbreaker. It's got the big pocket. Looks crazy. It's coming in. It's got salmon and bread, a beige, a green and blue, and a black and white. It's coming in at 168 for retail. Honestly, I've been waiting for this piece for a really long time. It's it's pretty wild. Really? Yeah, I like this piece. I like that big pocket in the front. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, the beige one's pretty dope. The rest are kind of bleh. I like the... I like the uh, black one. It's simple. black one and sorry, I hate the the pink one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't really. And I guess the like, the the green one's okay as well. But right. other than that, no. Alrighty, we have the landscape hooded sweatshirt. This thing is insane. It's gonna come in at 178. Um, it's got this really really cool art on it. I really can't explain it too well. There'll be a picture up on the screen, but. It's a wild piece. I really, actually, I really like it. It looks really um, well done. In my opinion, I really like the design on it. The logos, I'm not a big fan of the logo, but it, uh, I really like the kind of cloudy design. Looks dope. And it also has a matching pair of sweat shorts. It's coming in at 148. It's got the same design, same logo, just in a sweat short. Looks like a pretty good sweatshirt. I would cop that. I don't know for 148, but I really like the sweatshirt. I like them. All right, guys. Next, we have a pretty fan favorite. We got a Supreme Playboy soccer jersey. Soccer jersey. It's got the collar, the stripes. It's got Supreme with the Playboy bunny. It's coming in baby blue, black, like a lime and forest green, and then the Ronald McDonald colorway. This looks pretty dope, man. Like, also, I know a lot of it's coming in at 118. I don't know if I said that. I probably did, but just putting it out there. Um, like a lot of people have been waiting for this all season, and uh, I might try and cop the the blue one. Is that that's my favorite? Okay, we actually have a another returning guest to the show. We have the blessed sweatshirt. Um, coming in beige, green, blue, red, black, yellow, and white. And it's got the pictures on it. Really cool hoodie. It looks like the ransom letters. Um, coming in at one forty eight. It was supposed to drop last week. No, really, no idea why it didn't, but it's here. So, would give your opinion on it, Gil? Yeah, I'll say the same thing last week. It, it looks kind of cool, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Next, we have the Ganesh keychain. It's coming in at thirty bucks. It's a gold keychain with like the fat elephant thing. I really don't know what it's about, but it looks pretty cool. 30 bucks is kind of steep, but it looks cool, I guess. Yeah, it's all right. I don't mind it. It's uh, it's kind of cool. Like the gold background's really nice, and um, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's pretty dope. Next, we have the polka dot rain work jacket. This one's a jacket, not a shirt. I just realized that, but it's coming in red and black, black and white, and then pink and black. Honestly, it's pretty wild but i could I, you could work with this one eh i'm not a huge fan i think it's kind of like the red one's okay i guess but like the rest are just kind of too out there but that's the, not that bad actually but for that 228 price tag it does have on it that's pretty steep for something you can get like really, a hoodie for that it's not really crazy yeah next we have the mlk zip up flannel shirt 178 for retail. It's got a big picture of Martin Luther King on it. It's got a black sleeve and a red and blue sleeve. Um, um I like this one better than the one the one that they released earlier this season. Yeah, this I one's like, kind of dope. Yeah, I like yeah, no. that. It's a nice piece. This one's a like lot the better. On it. The zipper makes oh, it yeah. cool. It makes it feel like more like a jacket instead of like a shirt. I like the plaid uh uh, sleeves on the side is like really nice for me and like the blue background mm -hmm. um next we have the waffle ringer t-shirt it's coming at 78 it's a plain t-shirt it's coming in red and green 
white and black, blue and yellow, black on black, and then orange and gray. Really, it look got a little box logo at the bottom. I don't know if it's a box logo. I think it is. Oh, look at the white one. Oh, no, it's not a box logo. Looks like one from far away on the red shirt. But it's an okay piece. I mean, I, I really like this. It's one of their simpler pieces, but it still really works. I think the Christmas color would be really cool around, like, in December. Then you have, like, literally the Ikea color, which is kind of cool, too. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I really like it. I'm it's throwing shade at IKEA because they haven't delivered my desk yet. So fuck y'all. <laughs> Next. Uh, but the... yeah, I really like that. MLK Dream Tea. It says, "Don't let the dream die." From then on the sides, it's got 1963 to 2018. It's one of those movement shirts that Supreme does that I can't get behind because honestly, I'm just a white kid who plays on his computer. But 44 bucks, really cool, really cool shirt, honestly, it's really simple, and honestly, it's cheap for a t-shirt, so, I really like the piece, what do you think, Gil? Yeah, I like it, it's, um, the logo's alright, average at best, in my opinion, but, um, I don't know, I think, it, I think it's pretty cool, pretty, like, good homage there. Also, with this week's orders, you get the free, um, MLK button. It says the same thing as that logo, do not let the dream die, with a picture of him on it. So that's free with every order. So if you guys are into that, like, free Supreme stuff that they give out sometimes, this is a really good week to cop something. But next we have the pocket tee. They're unseen yet, but they thinking there's going to be a pink camo, a light brown, light purple, light blue, cranberry, heather gray. Oh, my God. Heather green, orange, black, navy, and white. I think it's just the Supreme pocket tees. They have the little box. I remember him in Junior. So, I think it's really nice piece. It's going to come in at around 62 bucks, hopefully. So, what do you think, Gil? Yeah, I really like this. Kind of low-key. I like the navy one. And the green one, probably, too. I like that pink uh, camo one up there in the corner. Oh, there's a lot of good colorways in this one. It's like, not different. Yeah. No, I, I, I love this. This is a cool low-key piece. Next, we have the Jacquard Logo Silk Polo. I, it, oh, wow. I, what, one thing is, what does Jacquard even mean? Because I've seen that like so often in Supreme. Um, is that just like a name of something? or? No, it's a material. Oh. I think, hopefully. What is it? I don't know. Because you see that so often. Anyway. Well, it's eh. like silk. From what it says, it's gonna be 148. It's coming in a pink, yellow, green, and black. It says Supreme all over it. Honestly, I oh, that's a like Supreme. Oh, that's so really yeah. Like I I like the um the quarter zip, it, but it's like the quarter button. I, I really like it. 148. I really, I really like polos. I just don't find a lot that like I can see myself wearing. Um, the quarter zip or not quarter zip. The quarter button, my bad, is really nice and taller. And the Supreme one, like, written across is cool, too. Um, I, In my opinion, the, the burgundy one, or red one, I guess, is my favorite. I would cop that. This one's got a weird title. It says, People Equal Shit Work Short. Um, oh, it's got a patch on it. It's a, the same work short they brought out earlier this season. It's got a pa patch on it that says, People Equal Shit. It's coming in lime green, navy, a khaki and then black for 118. I really don't yeah. like this at all. It's the patch is weird. I don't understand. I, I don't get it. Like, why there? I don't understand the. I would the prefer patch. if it was up. Okay, there's two things you could have done down by the bottom, like where I don't know if you probably don't know, but like where hockey pants are, where the logo is. Mm -hmm. Some people will know, or on the belt buckle. Or not belt buckle, the belt loop, like kind of yeah. to the side there. I think I saw it earlier this season. I forget what with what, but right there by like below the pocket is just kind of weird. That's some edgy kid shit right there. It looks almost fake, like you would sew that on. Mm -hmm. I like. I wish they would have done a jacket like this instead of the short. I think a jacket would have been better. All right, guys, we have the washed Chambry S logo six panel. 
coming in black, pink, a light jean, pale green, orange, and yellow. Coming in at 48 bucks. Real simple S logo hat. I really like this black one. It looks kind of lost, like I really have been liking. And this this light jean one I really like. And the pale green's not bad. What do you think, Gil? I think it looks exactly like the palace hats that they do with the P. Uh, I don't know if we'll have one on screen, hopefully. But they they do look really similar in the same font and everything. I wonder if they did it on purpose. Supreme did it but, first. Oh, did they? Yeah. I remember, like, they probably did seasons ago. But um, I, I really like this. It's kind of a lower, um, not, like, standing out as much. And it's just, like, a really nice hat. Next, we have the Pinwheel Nylon 5 panel. It's coming in all black, a red and orange top, a orange cyan blue top, a red, yellow, red, red, yellow, green, red, and then a black, pink, and blue. They all say Supreme New York, established in 80, 94. Coming in at 44 bucks, not something i'd like maybe the um one. this one kind of looks like a papa john's logo to me it's kind of weird like or like thick in the middle and then smaller on the sides in my opinion the red one and the yellow one the one at, like the front there looks really nice i would call it. i don't wear a lot of flat caps so like but I, I really like the color design and the color pattern there we have the diagonal logo side panel cap camp camp cap. It's a cap camp cap with supreme written down the side like a little like if you shave your head and then have a mohawk where the shave part would be. That's where the hat is like the supreme is. Coming in red, Not... red white, blue, green, and orange. Coming in at forty four bucks. It's okay. Not a fan of this at all. It's not a crazy hat. Not. A... Not a terrible nope. hat. It's it's kind of eh. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of. I don't know. It just looks weird. But next, <coughs> we have a really cool piece from Supreme. They've really been putting out these really cool accessories these last two weeks. It's the Supreme. I hope I say this right. Tivoli. Pal. Tivoli. Tivoli. Bluetooth speaker. This thing looks crazy. It's got FM and AM tuning, up to 16 hours of playback. It's coming in at 350 bucks. I don't know if it's an expensive speaker company, but it looks crazy. It looks it looks wild. When I first saw it, I thought like it was just kind of not a speaker, but more of an amp. But now that I see it's Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth first of all, which is awesome, and it has radio. It's really cool. It's got the Supreme on the side, which I guess most of the accessories like really uh, advertise the logo now. Mm -hmm. um, 350, probably, I don't know, probably around what like a high end speaker would be like. I don't imagine Supreme would be uh, would collab with a lower end speaker, but I I can see them. I can see this being really high in resale. A lot of electronics go high on resale as well. Yeah. Uh, so I can see this going for upwards of 500. Bro, I'd love it, to it's, just sit on my desk. That'd be so lit. Oh yeah, man. Like it, it's a really cool piece. I, it's, I don't know, man. I just really like it. All right, guys. That's the end of the Nimish talk for this week. Pretty eh drop. Couple crazy pieces. Couple eh pieces. Not one of their. It's one of their filler weeks, in my opinion, where they drop something crazy like the pinball machine last week, and then they give us the filler week. But well, we in my opinion, up. my opinion, you get last week was kind of shitty too, because I'd say almost everyone didn't got the pinball machine, and the rest of it was kind of meh at most. And so I think they're hyping up. I know there's been uh, pictures of shoes, Supreme shoes, Nike shoes, that are coming out soon. Uh, we'll have the picture on screen. They're also going to be uh, having another North Face collab this season. Uh, that features, I believe, a tent, a large tent. That'll be weird. Other than that, these two weeks, I think we're just kind of lookbook filler week.
Alrighty guys, we're gonna peace out. So um like, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube shit and uh ding ding.